<laughs> okay, so I have ramped up the circuit complexity to the full loadout that we're attempting to run, which is four LEDs per circuit uh, with a total of nine unique circuits for the RGB LEDs running as well an additional five circuits which will be single uh, single white LEDs that will be running in the center of each segment um, or actually we just have five additional circuits that we haven't really known what to do with so we're thinking about just throwing those whites it's kind of an optional deal um, we got the USB powering the device everything is is marked into it and uh, the various wires and all the other accoutrements and then all of the resistors as well and we will be turning on the thing to see if it can really handle the load that we intend to push on every single panel of this system and here's the LEDs now these are all prototype stuff the design itself and the LEDs themselves might be different so then therefore the power requirements might also be different but this is what I got so we're gonna run it see what happens so Let's see Let's see how it goes so what I'm gonna do is Rod wrote um, pretty much set up my uh, set up the uh, executable so that I can uh, some test some stuff and I got the hub monitor in here so uh, current 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 drain is at 90 milliamps provided to the USB device. So what I'm going to do is just hit the button and test to see if the circuit runs. So I'm hitting it now. All right. Looks like it's working. It's unbelievable and bright as hell. So I think it will definitely be adequate for our needs. We obviously are going to be pulling it uh, in a much wider thing with some kind of diff uh, fusion, so the you know intensity of the light will be diffused across the entire face of the device. But this is just obviously a test to make sure that it's working, and it it definitely looks like it's working. Amazing, no fires and it seems to be handling the current load just fine the bus is handling the load and the drain there um, and uh, it looks like our machine is uh, good to go so that is cool what a nice prototype if only it always worked as well